In this video, we are going to be looking at IRP5 forms, or it is also called Employees Tax Certificates. Okay, Matrix, this video is for you. So, also, go and have a look at my video on personal income tax, alright? Now, let's have a look at this. So, this is an example of an IRP5 form. And since it is an example, my little disclaimer, the one in your exam will look different, right? There will be a different layout. And since it's a different person, these descriptions here could look slightly different. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we have the employer's information, the employee's information, and then kind of a summary, right, of some amounts. Now, we will come back to this to look at it in detail, I just want to write down for you what the definition, more or less the definition of an IRP5 form and what it actually entails. So let's start off by saying this is a summary, okay, a summary from your employer and this then goes to your boss and this then goes to SARS. SARS is the South African Revenue Service. So this is a body that regulates tax. Okay, on this IRP5, you will see that the date is always like two years, 2021 to 2022, for example. It runs across two years. Why? Because it starts at one March of each new year, your all your salary, your income from then, up until 28 February of the next year. Good. So what else you will see on this IRP5 form is all your income. Now, if I say income, I mean your salary, your monthly salary that you got and the total of that year, as well as extra income like bonus or uh, it could also be overtime, right? Some people work overtime. Next, you will see all the deductions. Now, deductions are important. Here, these things could uh, are paid by your employer, things like pension, right? Your employer could pay your pension. Also, they might show UIF, uh, which is the unemployment fund. Okay. And unemployment insurance fund, forgive me, my brain froze a little. And also, payee. Now, payee is an important character. Firstly, note that it stands for pay as you earn. So, pay what? This guy is about paying tax monthly and this is based on your salary, okay? So, if you earn, let's say, 20,000 Rand, you might pay like 2,000 Rand or so to tax and this is just an example, and then at the end of the day, you only get paid 18,000. This is what you see in your bank account. So during the year, you already pay some tax to source, and your employer does that for you. Cool. Now, next, you will also see if you can remember some information on your boss, your employer. Uh, we'll look at that. And also some information on the employee. Okay, so that's the person who works at the company. Cool. Now let's go back to this guy, the IRP5 form. So we start with the employer's information. It's usually the company name, and this is some private school. And there's also an IRP5 number, right? So this is just a number, um, not really important. And then the year of assessment. So there we go, from 2022. And this year obviously started in 1 March and then it ended in 2023 on 28 or could even be 29 February. Okay, we also see the employer's physical address and then next the employee's information. This guy's name is Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's got an ID number, not yet a passport number. And then something interesting is the employee number. This is a unique number to say that in this company, there are many employees and this guy is number 124. So every employee has got a unique number because they all need to get paid and their employer needs to pay their tax. Okay, next we will see the residential address, date of birth, 
And finally, an income tax number. Also very important, this is a unique number that every individual has to differentiate them from another one at SARS. So SARS uses this and they recognize this number, identify it for your tax purposes. Okay, cool. Now, let me get my highlighter. Next, you'll see some codes, okay? Don't really mind the codes, they're just there for uh, tax purposes, for SARS to identify things. Let's go to this guy's basic income. Okay, I wanna go to this guy's basic income and this is his salary, basically. Every month he was paid a salary. Why is it so high, 492,000? Well, that's because it is the yearly or annual amount. If you want monthly, you would have to divide by 12. Okay, next we see extra income. So these could be things like his bonus or his overtime, and it all added up to 21,000. Okay, and finally we see something like gross employee income. So this is the total income, right? Before any deductions. And the number is A. They want us to determine this. So let me write here on the side A. How can I determine the gross employee income? So I will just add the total income. So the basic income plus the extra income. I'm going to add that. So it's 492566 plus 21633. And you see an answer of... 514,199. So that's a yearly amount, okay? Before any deductions. 514,199. Now we get to the deductions. So once again, this could be something like pension. Maybe they, the company paid for his pension fund. And for the whole year, it ended up being 39,000. Remember, these are all annual amounts, which is yearly. Okay, let's go to the next guy. The gross, which just means total in this case, so don't really get confused there. The taxable employee income. Now, go check the video. How I determine my taxable income is by saying it's the gross income minus the deductions. So remember, I did an example where we said this guy thought that he would earn 20,000, but after there were quite a few deductions, he earned less. Okay, so my gross was the value for A. It was 514,199 minus the deductions. That's given to you, 39,414. And I end up with 474. 1785. Okay, now this value, 474785, they use this value to determine your tax. And here, pay as you earn, this is basically the tax that the company has already paid. Remember, during the year, they already paid this um, two SARS on your behalf. And lastly, uh, we see there is medical tax credit, so this guy has a medical aid. And this is important, looks like the company pays for his medical aid so that he can get this tax credit back. Now, another little disclaimer, you might not see calculations in your test. The idea is just to understand where everything comes from. All right, please remember to share, to like and subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.